Voting for the outer Manipur concluded for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections. Chief Electoral Officer Pradeep Kumar Jha, after the voting process concluded, said that the polling went peacefully, except for one incident where the EVM was damaged. He said that people turned up in large number and till last report, the voting percentage was in the range of 75% and no major hiccups were reported. The CEO also said as compared to previous elections, situation was peaceful. The outer Manipur uh, parliamentary constituency, the 13 assembly segments have gone for polls. So voting has remained peaceful by and large. One incident of damage to EVM has been reported so far. Uh, we are looking into it. And we have been following up with all the districts and they have reported that uh, voting has been uh, peaceful and also people have turned out in huge numbers. Mm -hmm. So as compared to the previous elections, I can say that this time the election in the outer Manipur has been very, very peaceful. So in terms of the, how, how can we, uh, when do, can, can we get the final report of all this? Uh, it will take some time because of the remoteness of the uh, Outer Manipur Parliamentary Constituency. You are aware that some of the polling stations are very remote. Also because of the thunderstorm that we had day for yesterday, some of the mobile towers have been damaged and also power uh, transmission lines were damaged. Mm -hmm. So mobile network connectivity also is affected in the three to four districts which have gone for polls today. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are very hopeful that by late evening today we, we should have the clear picture. But my assessment overall is that uh, except for uh, one or two incidents, not, nothing major has happened and uh, voting has been very, very encouraging. Mm -hmm. Till the last report that we received about an hour back, the uh, voting percentage was in the range of 75% and uh, no major uh, hiccups were uh, reported and the security de uh, deployment also was good uh, in all the polling station locations.